get this. Sorry. God, I didn't even start yet. Doesn't count, doesn't count, doesn't count. Okay. I spent my whole childhood learning how to do this one technique. And I failed at it. <laughs> eh. Shuffling the deck. And I learned that technique for one game. Cribbage. Cribbage is a fun game. It is not just for old people. To win the game, you need 121 points. A typical cribbage board looks like this, where you will go around, or no, you will around to the end. However, you might also see a cribbage board that looks like this, where you have to go down and back and then down and back. Again, the, the amount of points you'll get for this is 121. Cribbage is divided up into three phases. Dealing, actually playing the game, and then counting towards the end. To deal, it the amount of cards you will deal out depends on how many people are playing the game. If there are two people playing, you will deal six cards. If there are three or four people playing, you will deal five cards. If you have six cards in your hand, you will discard two of them into what is called the dealer's crib. Remember this, it's important. If you have five cards, you will discard one of those cards. And if there are three people playing, or no, yeah. If there are three people playing, what, the top card from the deck will go into the crib so that there is four cards there. Next, once everyone has their card, oh, no. Before that, the person after the dealer will then cut the deck. That will be the cut card. If it's a jack, you will gain, the person who dealt will get two points. The cut card will be important towards counting later. Next, you will get into playing. The person after the dealer will go first. The limit to this is 31. You cannot exceed this amount. The main ways to score in this phase are getting 15s. You can get this by, say, the person plays a 10 card and the next person plays a 5 card. You move around clockwise, by the way. Once you get a 15, the person who got that will get two points. You can also get points by pairing. Say the person plays an ace, and then the next person, oh ho ho, plays another ace. Two points to them. But now, here's where it gets tricky. What if the next person also plays an ace? Will they pair the first person and the second person, getting six points? Now, in the unforeseen circumstances that the next person also happens to have an ace, he will pair everybody, granting him 12 points. This is a lot of points. You can also get points through runs. Say, someone plays an ace, someone plays a two, and someone plays a three. That will get them three points. Now, what if someone adds to this and plays a four? That will get them four points. But again, you also have to keep in mind the 31 point limit. You cannot exceed this. If you get 31 exactly, that person will get two points. If you cannot oversee this, you will say go. And once everyone can't play, the person who played last will get one point. Next will come the counting. Now, this is where you will get most of your points. You will count all the points in your hand. And I believe the best way to do this is through demonstration. This is what a typical hand will look like. And this is where the cut card comes in, because it will be temporarily added to your hand. For this hand, this is going to be a lot of points, because it will be 15-2, 15-4, and then since it's a run, 5, five 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That's a double run, because there is two of these. And then the pair as well also makes it 14 points. You will then peg 14 points on the board, which is how you will move around. After everyone is done counting, this is where the crib comes into play because now the dealer gets to take all those cards and essentially gets another hand. And the cut card will also go to that crib. In conclusion, I learned how to play cribbage when I was three years old. I learned how to shuffle. I learned how to deal. I learned how to count totals fast to make the game go faster. And I also remembered to get the right amount of points. Now, I hope you go out there and beat up your grandparents. In cribbage, because it's not an old person game. Thank you.